Megan, have you been smoking pot? Come down here right now. Baby, <laughs> Preacher's Daughters is a foolish, orchestrated, foolish ass, hot, flaming ass mess. But I slick like it. Okay. Megan, Megan, <laughs> Megan, Snake Preacher Daddy got her washing baseboards and stuff. And Megan said, I'm not selling the rail. I'm not going to be doing all this kind of stuff. Snake, um, Snake preacher dad is. I, mean, I, I really don't care. You're going, you're going to watch the baseboards because you've been smoking pot. So anyway, the whole episode was just foolish. Um, y'all know I'm living for my my girl Tori. Um, I'm glad that Taylor's father is. You know, well, I'm glad Taylor's pick. Taylor's pick, uh, well, if she even picked him or not, I'm glad Taylor is is starting to like uh, whatever his name is. What's the boy name? Spencer, with his little handsome, skinny, handsome, little smiling face. I like Spencer. I'm glad she, you know, she liking him or whatever. So they sit up in the living room and everything, and they playing Dom Wars or whatever. And child, and and walk her, his damn her damn daddy. Talking, what are y'all doing? And da 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 da. And he take him outside. Then he was like, "I want you to ask Taylor to go to the prom and all that kind of stuff." He was like, "I'll be delighted, sir." Did 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 do. Spencer just so lame to me, but it's so cute. I don't mind. Um, I like lame guys for some reason. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But um, the Colby sisters or whatever you want to call them, they cute. But the storyline is getting a little better. I like this whole. I don't want to take my daughter to church thing because it's something different. And I think there's something that needs to be put out like that. Like if she don't want to take her daughter to ch to church, she, you know, her mom, her grandmother, her mother should respect that. Like her mother should respect. She don't want to take her to church. She should respect that. I mean, that's her, that's her child. Like she has a say. So or what she, if both, especially if both the parents agree, that's just not right. That's just not right. I don't care how nobody feel about that. If somebody, if a parent say they want their child to do something, you need to respect. I don't care if you grandma, auntie. Cousin, I don't care who you are. You have to respect that. Um, that that's just it. Um, Tori, you and these take me higher. Your eyebrows are taking me higher. Tori, every time they flip flop in every episode, I'm gonna drag your eyebrows for for a second. Every epi every scene, they turn around. Your eyebrows looking like this. One time they looking like this. None time they looking like this. Fix it, fix it, fix it in my Janet Jackson voice, okay? And why did I get married to? Fix it, fix it, fix them damn eyebrows, Tori. God damn. Tori, you have a beautiful smile, pretty lips. You know, I, you look like, I can tell your mom and dad got some good dental insurance and some good health insurance. They taking care of you if you still on their damn insurance or whatever. Take care of them damn eyebrows. I don't know where the hell you going to get them eyebrows together, but baby, they look like I can put them holes in my damn, in my damn knife set. Cause they look sharp as hell. Eyebrows are supposed to look smooth and together and clean. I don't know what some of you women are doing, but baby, some of y'all eyebrows look like Bushido blades and y'all need to stop that shit. It look like y'all know I, I'm really, I'm real particular when it comes to eyebrows. Okay. I'm just not. I don't hope I don't have to do another eyebrow tutorial. Okay? Talking about Tori and these sharp ass damn Bushido Blade, Bushido Blaze ass damn eyebrow. I thought Huey off a of damn um, the boondocks was going to take them motherfucking. Wow! Ah, this whoop ass nigga. But moving on, let me stop being stupid. Um, Tori dad pulls up on um, Courtney and Tori. They laying up with Trey and they fake kit. They. Doing his old kissing bullshit, and, and he pull up like he always do. Like, what's going in the jag? What's going on? Honk, honk. Do I know you? The man, Trey, scared out of his damn mind. Don't know what the hell to do. And Courtney, like, I don't see the problem. Well, not Courtney. Tori, like, I don't see the problem. Child, let Courtney. And they wasn't really even doing something. Just sitting there. But I can understand Courtney, 16 years old. I wouldn't want to see my daughter doing nothing like that. But, child, Miss uh, Miss Tori, honey, she trying to get. She didn't got her. Trey would looking like he a member of Q-Tip, okay? He like a tall, dark, dirty Q-Tip. Well, tall, light Q-Tip with that long fro. And ch I just, I was not. I, but anyway, I think that damn name is Kenny. We are going in, going all off and stuff. I would just start running. I would have just, I would have took off running. But um, 
Oh, Jesus. I'm just back on Tori's eyebrows. I, I, I just cannot. Uh, so, we get to the next uh, next scene. They didn't took, Grandmama didn't took Salem to church, okay? She didn't took Kobe's, um, or whoever, the Kobe's sister. One, I don't know. I'm not learning their damn name because their storyline ain't interesting. But one of the sisters' daughter, her daughter, daughter name is Salem. She went to church. And Grandmama took her to church because she was saying, uh, well, it's raining, so let's go to church. So they get to church, they got the dramatic music. Why do y'all keep filming the damn, like, graves? I don't want to see no damn graves. Watch it. Stop recording. Stop putting the clips on. Find some better clips because y'all be showing the graves and stuff. Don't nobody want to see no dead person in no casket on no ground. I just don't want to see this. So I don't want to see nothing that reminds me of death. I just don't. So um, they get to the whole scene and... Um, and Child Salem said, we just left church soon as she get in her mama arms. I mean, we just left church. If that shit wasn't orchestrated, I just don't understand. Child, it was just a fool. And they was just looking at her crazy. And Chad came out. Chad was like, child, give me my door. Let me go back in here. I don't have time. And then they talk. Well, I don't think I should have to tell you if I want to go tell her about Jesus. Yes. That's, if I'm not teaching my child that, if you know, no, you, you can't just do what you want to. Some of you grandparents be taking it too far. Like, child, you didn't raise your child. Move on. Okay, and y'all know how I feel about when it comes to the, the parent, grandparent, all that kind of stuff. Um, But Salem, you better know these lines. As soon as Salem said something about going to church, she looked up and said, did I get it right? I don't have time. Um, Spencer going to propose to um Taylor at the church. And Spencer looked really good in his blue sweater. He looked in his blue V-neck sweater. It was cute. He's so lame. It was just so cute. But child, did y'all get into that ghetto woman that was sitting right behind um Taylor in the church with that damn big ass tattoo? I don't know if she had some boy name on her or something. Then I ain't gonna I ain't gonna talk about her bad. But she had I, I just can't stand to see women with them big ugly ass chest tattoos like that. I, my auntie had that mess, and I and she had them, a man tattoo on her body, and he didn't give, give two fucks about her ass. Okay, so yeah, just women, just be careful when you be doing stuff like that. When you, especially, I can see somewhere else on your body, but somewhere like visible is your chest. That shit is just so ugly to me. It's just so then, ugh. Mm. But uh, who is that? Tor. <laughs> Tori, mama, I don't know what she want to do. Is she be in these confessionals talking and shit? And her hair be like it's about to melt off her damn head. <laughs> I love Tori, though. Hey, baby, Tori said she had Tori and um, dad and mama had a conversation with Courtney and them. They just talking, talking about the whole situation with them going and laying up a tray and all that kind of stuff. And Tori, mom, just sitting up there like, uh-uh, you being very disrespectful, all this kind of stuff. And I, I I I just don't I I just don't I don't get it. Then you get to the whole scene where they're in the kitchen and Tori's talking about sex and Courtney giggling. And then here going Tori and Mama walking in with this slip on because she got some stuff covering them damn titties up. So she walk in and she talking to them and Tom asked them, "Are you having sex?" And and Tori just making light of the situation like, "Girl, we got to find out if the thing is big. Okay, we can't be talking to some man with a small thing. I just must have screamed." I'm just getting my life from Tori crazy ass. She is just giving me the most. But baby, if it's anything I I, I just I want to talk about, I want to talk about Megan's father. Are you been smoking pot? If that shit was not fun, have you been smoking pot? He's they and the shit was just let me let me just bag up. Am I the only is it me? Am I the only one who seems to uh I'm just laughing. I'm not the only one. Every time I see Megan's mama, stepmama, she looked like she finna new be the new PSA person for um for being against like cigarette smoke or something. I just don't know. Y'all know them folks. I know we forget I was laying there sleep one night and I heard that one. I was like, girl, no man, let me turn this TV off. I cannot. Uh, Meg and Mama, that's why Meg and Mama don't want her ass on them damn cigarettes and smokers. She don't want her ass. Because let me tell you something. I love my white people. I love y'all so much. But baby, sometimes with some of y'all age, y'all be looking a dreadful ass mess. <laughs> baby, y'all look like y'all about to turn to dust any minute. But black folk, we can't talk too much because some of y'all be eating some of those pork rhymes and all kind of shit we ain't supposed to eat. 
Now, honey, we be 50 years old and hooked up to every machine known to me trying to keep on making and taking all kind of pills. But Tory eyebrows were looking at me, and they were scaring me because they look like spider legs, okay? <laughs> so I thought them hoes were about to fly off her damn forehead. Tori, get them damn eyebrows together. I find your damn Twitter or some shit. I'm going to go in on your ass. But, uh, Taylor, you and Demarius or whatever, the way you kept saying his name, find out who you want to go to prom with. I like your little friend with her yippity yap ass. Um, especially when y'all was in the beauty shop and y'all were talking to, um, whoever that girl is with that Raymond Noodle, uh, curls on her damn head. It was just funny. But back on Meg, are you been smoking pot? They got one, child, they want her to take a drug test and everything. Meg, like, I ain't been smoking. She can't even get her life. I ain't been smoking in pot. I, I'm, I'm not smoking pot. You been smoking pot. You say you're going to donate, you're going to donate. If you've been smoking pot, I'm going to take a laptop, I'm going to take a computer, I'm going to take everything. You're not going to be, you're not going to be doing it, okay? You're not going to be smoking pot in our house. We're paying bills and your mother sitting here looking like crusty the goddamn clown, okay? But I'm, I'm done talking about that. But anyway, Taylor, if I keep hearing you talk about this damn music career, girl, I'm going to scream. Okay, because that music video you did when you eating that damn apple, I want to throw a damn peach at your ass, okay? I just, she eat, got her lip all on, girl, I just cannot, but, um, the overall, 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 this episode was pretty decent, it was alright, it wasn't fun, I can't wait to see if um, Meg gonna fare the drug test or not, because all that shit is an orchestrated ass damn mess, all of it is, ain't none of it damn real, but so far I'm enjoying this, um, this little talk show, because that's, I mean, not talk show, this little damn soap opera because that's what it is all this shit is just i uh, from from and then uh, that's how i know it this is a, pay attention to this get into this i was i what did anybody catch the part okay the first scene when tori's not what taylor's father walked in on her and spencer that table that front table was was not there but when they went into the other episode with another scene the table was there okay pay attention then i don't think all these girls I understand they beds, they when they be in the confession, they bed be cattle corner, and then in the other one it be straight. Like girl, I just I cannot. It's just so much going on. But anyway, um, I'm gonna keep reviewing the show, y'all. But let me tell y'all something, honey. Uh, it ain't gonna be no rush for me to review it, okay? Especially with the uh, I'm just letting y'all know because it be a lot of shit going on Wednesday night. But anyway, y'all, it's a scandal night, so let me go and get off the end because y'all know y'all gonna be. Let me just spray scandal right quick. Let me just spray scandal. Y'all Scandal fans tripped me out. Last episode, I watched the last episode of, of Scandal. I just watched it just because. Who shot? Who shot? Oh, my God. Who shot? I guarantee y'all. I bet y'all any kind of money tonight. I bet that whoever got shot ain't in one of them with a damn flesh wound. I bet you Monday. You. Let me tell you something. When people die in a house of cards, they dead. When something happens, they dead, honey. Main characters, everything, they be dying. But this crap, y'all watching this Disney scandal shit, maybe I'm just not checking for it, okay? I'm just not interested because it's just so boring to me. 